right. Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. My name is Bianca. I'll be guiding you through class. So find your hey, Aaron. So find your pose. Let me just let a couple people in really quick. All right. Hey, Avi. Hey, Aaron. All right. We're gonna get started today in our lifted. <clears throat> excuse me. Lifted child's pose. Knees down. Toes tucked. Hands in between towards the middle of your mat and then forehead down towards the earth. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, just take a regular child's pose. But your toes are tucked, your knees are open, and you're just gonna give it a rest. Good. And then take a deep inhale in through the nose, just fill up. Cleansing exhale, let it go. Good, breathe in. And breathe out. And just notice the state of your mind right now. So just notice how you're feeling, what's going through your head, how is your week. And see if there's anything you need from our class today, perhaps some grounding, a feeling of peace, of calmness, of stretching, whatever it is that you need in class. And with your toes tucked, roll to your regular child's pose. So let the shins come down, let the hips touch down, and then forehead lowers. As you find your child's pose, Come onto the fingertips as you tent your hands onto the mat. So you're in child's pose, but your fingertips are pointed down. And notice how this continues to stretch your underarms. Yeah, let the forehead keep melting onto the earth as you lift the back of your arms up towards the sky, keeping the fingertips on the mat. Just one more breath here. Feel a grounding sensation through your legs. Good. And lift it up to a tabletop with your fingertips on the mat to tent the hands. Once your hips are over the knees, lift your chest for cow pose. Keep the fingers down. Exhale, round yourself for cat. Inhale, cow pose. Draw the shoulders down your back, look forward, tailbone up. Exhale, round and curl your spine in. Look side to side, and then begin to add your own movements here. So find big circles, maybe lowering the palms down to the mat. And just warming up the body, loosening, loosening up the spine here. You can even bend one elbow, bend the other elbow. And just find your own freedom of expression, freedom of movement in your mat. Good. And then from here, reach your left arm up to the sky. Take your left fingertips to your left ear. Good. And then stretch the elbow up as you find this big twist through your back. Let go of your hand, take the left hand all the way behind you, and then take circles with the left arm. So just the left arm moves, taking big circles, rotating through that palm. Okay, notice the openness there through the chest. Good. And same arm, reach the left arm forward, and then lift the right leg back behind you. Zip the inner thighs together. You can move the right hand to the side if you need. And then look straight down. Try to lift your left bicep to your ear. Energize the inner thigh. Press your big toe back. One more breath. Exhale, elbow to knee, round and curl. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, round. 
Good job. Inhale, extend. This time, left hand comes around. Hold on to the right foot, please, behind you. And then lift your chest. Feel the frontal left side stretch and your right quad. Your right hand is super grounded. Bend the right elbow a little bit and then look forward. So just one more breath. And then without slingshotting the legs and the arms, reach up and forward and then take the knees and the hand down to your mat. Good, breathe in upward face, or rather cow pose. And then exhale, round your back for cat. Taking it to the other side now, inhale the right arm up to the sky. Reach up, and take the right fingertips behind your ear, and then lift your elbow up as high as you can, just opening up through the right side chest. Make sure you're breathing. This is really hard to do actually to open up like this, but breathe. And then let the right hand go. Circle the right arm forward, up, back, forward, up, and back. Yeah, just a couple more like that. Good. Working through the entire scapula there. Good, one more. Reach the right arm forward and send the left leg back, lengthen. Good, very nice. Once you feel balanced here, lift the right bicep near your ear, look straight down, and then elevate the left heel so it's in line with your, your seat. Try to level the hips here, one more breath. Exhale, elbow to knee, to the center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Good, inhale, extend. And then take the right hand back, capture your foot. Have the thumb pointing up, like you're giving that thumbs up symbol, and then look forward as you stretch the foot back into your hand. Stabilize your left arm, bend the left elbow a little bit. Yeah, can you keep lifting the knee higher? Look a little forward, one more breath. And without slingshotting the legs and the arms, extend. Lower the hand, lower the knee. Come back onto the fingertips, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round your back. Good, from here, find your plank pose. Lift your knees. Engage your quads. Send the inner thighs together. Nice, one more breath. And to a down dog, hips up. Once you're in your down dog, just walk it out. See if you can find a little bit of stillness in your mind while your body is moving. So if there's still kind of thoughts about work or anything else lingering, just breathe and let them pass. Good. Find your stillness in your down dog. Ground your heels if you can. Otherwise, bend the knees and send the hips up. Like my hand is on your sacrum, lifting the seat higher up. Great. Inhale, look forward and walk to the middle of your mat. On an inhale, lift your chest, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Ragdoll pose, hold on to the elbows. Sway generously side to side here. Shake your head yes and no, and then let the forearms be really heavy onto the mat. In ragdoll here, let the forearms be heavy. Note which forearm is on top and then widen your legs to hips width. Take the arms over your head and then lift the chest up. And then take a big circle back down the same, same side. So moving here clockwise, lift up, maybe take a back bend at the top and then bring yourself down and lift it up. 
and over. So just take those same rotations up and over. Try to decompress the low back. Good. Yeah, very nice, Aaron. Good, Parker. All right, when you reach the top, switch the forearms and then go counterclockwise. So bring it down towards the left side. Lift on an inhale up the right. Exhale back down towards the left. Just warming up the spine here, the legs, your back. Good. When you reach the top, reach the arms up and over. Exhale to a back bend, goal post the arms. Scapula down your back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to a back bend. Good. Inhale, reach up, stand up straight, interlace the hands, and then take a side bend to the right. Inhale to the center, take a side bend to the left. Inhale up, one more each side, to the right. And to the left. Reach up. Hands to the low back and find your deepest back bend. Try to bring the elbows to point backward. Ground the heels, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest. All right, exhale, fold. Trace the hands down the back of the legs and then take a hold of your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes and elbows to the sides for your deeper forward fold. So really enjoying the stretch here. Inhale to a halfway lift, please. Exhale, plant the hands and take your left leg up to the sky for your standing splits. Move the right leg to the middle. In your standing splits, try to wrap the triceps back and in. Yeah, if you have more space, walk the hands a little closer towards your leg. Good, Kelsey, yeah. Good. And bring the left leg down. We'll switch sides. Move the left foot to the center of your mat and then reach the right leg up. I know it's early on, just feeling that right away, that hamstring stretch. Think of lifting your thigh bone into your hip and pointing your, your left knee more forward. Good. Lower the right foot, bring the feet together, and forward fold. So a little bit different feeling here for the back. You can bend the, the knees if you want. Yeah, maybe the forehead can yearn towards the shin. All right, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. One more each side. Hands down, please. Left leg up. And maybe a little bit higher with the leg. Just getting into our big kind of belly of the hamstring on the right. Yeah, stay with your breath. Lower the left leg and lift the right leg. Start to walk the hands closer, point the left kneecap forward. Think of Pointing the shin straight forward too. So the, the left meaty side of your calf comes forward. Good, one more breath. Exhale, feet together, walk the feet wide into your frog. Good, sit low into your hips. Use the elbows to widen the knees. Good, one more breath. Exhale, crow pose, plant the palms. Breathe. On an inhale, lift up. On an exhale, start to float the legs back. Your first inhale, keep pressing the finger pads down to the mat. So find 
your crow, but time it with your breath. Yeah, and then can you continue to wrap your low abs in here? Good, step it back to your chaturanga. Float back, just kind of building some of that movement. Good, exhale down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg up. Right knee to your left tricep. Inhale the right leg up. Bring the knee to the nose and then pulse here for eight, seven, lift the thigh higher, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step the foot down, lift the right arm on an inhale, twist. Feel free to readjust your legs if you need. Big motion here, full inhale. On an exhale, pyramid modification, touch the right fingers down to the mat, straighten the right leg. And then inhale, open up to that twist, rainbow your hand up to the sky. And exhale, rainbow the hand down as you straighten the right leg. So moving through this, inhale, open twist to the right. Exhale, pyramid modification. Keep going, so dynamic movement. Inhale, rainbow the arm up. Exhale, pyramid. One last time, inhale, open up. So stretching that right glute. Exhale, regular pyramid, hang out there, widen the feet, ground your left heel down. Nice, good, very nice, Katie. Yeah, keep stretching the hands forward. Great, hopefully, if you're in Monday's class, hopefully you're a, a bit more stretched out here. Just feel that continuing to build. All right, from your pyramid pose, take a breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold a little deeper, and then inhale, lift the right hand for your revolved triangle pose. I love this pose, especially for grounding the legs and twisting. Reach up higher, maybe look up if you can. Last breath. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, both arms up, warrior one. Once you arrive in warrior one, swim the arms back. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, swim them back. So just getting into the shoulder mobility here. Last one. And land with your hands behind you, interlace the hands, lift your chest. Exhale to your humble warrior, fist up to the sky as you bow forward, look back towards your left toes. Stay low in the right knee. Good. From here, release your hands, try to hug your left thigh in with your right leg straight. So move into your pyramid pose with your right leg straight, your hands interlaced towards your left leg. Good, hug the hands, the arms together, and then inhale, reach up, stand up straight. Exhale, warrior three, launch up, lift up. Steady the breath in your warrior three. Bring the hips to be even. And if your arms are forward, hug them back behind you. And then from here, lift the left knee up, stand up with one leg. Exhale to your humble, or to your rather figure four. Align your left ankle towards the right side and then come down to hold on to your ankle here and just feel the outer hip stretch. 
You have the option here to place the hands down to the mat, wrap your left foot into your tricep, shift forward, and then slowly into your Galavasana flying pigeon, use your glute strength, kick that leg back, use your hands as brakes. So just breathe if you're taking that one. Very nice, Katie, good. Beautiful, Sarah. And everyone, please lift it back up. Energize your left knee up. This time to crescent lunge. Left toes down, reach the arms up. All right, from here, wrap your hands around your right thigh and bend deeper so you can get deep, even deeper into that hip flexor stretch. If you notice that your left hip is turning forward, hug it back and bend the left knee. So really try to feel that left hip flexor sensation. Yeah, Avi, that's it, yep. Great alignment, yeah. And then to counterbalance that, energize the left shin up while you bend deeper into the right knee. Yeah, exactly. Like you're trying not to touch the floor with your left knee, but then you're still trying to bend deeper, if that makes sense. All right, reach the, place the right hand to your hip, reach the left arm up and to the front, up into the upper right corner. Lengthen the left leg, fully, fully extend that. Lift it on up, exhale to a twist. So left elbow to the right thigh. And from here, if that right glute is super talking to you, lower the left knee. Take your time here. If you're ready, inhale, unravel back to crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Roll the wrists. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift it up. Exhale to a triangle pose, so bring it forward right away. Triangle pose. One more breath. And then take the hands to the floor, please. Place your left toes out to the back edge of your mat and then find your skandasana with your right toes pointing up to the sky. Exactly, good. Breathe. Try to ground the left heel as much as you can. Then maybe your hands can come to your heart space if your ankle is down. Good. Walk your hands to the front of your mat, frame your right foot, lift your left leg standing split. And then from here, you have the option to take a couple handstand hops, softening through the bottom knee, bend the right knee, and then lift it on up, take off. You bend the bottom knee, hands and arms are straight, shoulders over wrists, and lift. Good, use your breath. All right, last one there. And take it through a chaturanga. Nice, Kelsey, that was very strong. We'll meet in a down dog. Right away, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, the left leg up. Left knee to your right tricep. Good, inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, and then pulse here for eight. Lift the thigh higher for seven. Six, soften the elbows a little bit, five. Four, three, two, one. Step the foot through, good. Lift the left arm up, breathe in, twist. Move the right hand so you have some space. Avi, lower the hips just a bit. Yeah. And then hold in your twist.
And then Avi, turn your right fingertips out a little bit that way. Can you hear me? Right fingertips out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then from here, rainbow your hand down, straighten the left leg to your modified pyramid. And then inhale, rainbow the arm up for your twist. Exhale, lengthen the left leg and inhale, twist. So just your, your feet stay as they are. You're only moving the upper body and trying to maximize the stretch here. Your right heel is the whole time lifted. One more. Exhale, bring it down. Good, regular pyramid, right heel down. Straighten the legs. Keep reaching forward. Rotate your right thigh bone to face forward. Hug everything in. So keep the core navel pulled in. Inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Revolve triangle pose. Steady your breath here. Stretch through the underarms, so really stretch. Yeah, good, Sarah. Last one. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Both arms lift, warrior one. So then when you feel good in your hips, when your hips are where they want to be, take the arm circles. Reach up and reach back. Full range of motion in the shoulders. Take your own breaths here. And one more. Hold on to the hands behind you. Other thumb on top. Lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Bring it down. Good. Processing all this energy. Letting the body move. Hold poses. Strengthen and lengthen. Stay strong. Inhale, lift the arms up. Good. From here, warrior three, lift forward. Just being patient there with how your body is feeling. You need to readjust, readjust. If you need to lower the leg, lower the leg. You want to send the arms forward, keep doing that. Looking good, pick up the ribs. All right, from there, lift the knee up, reach up, stand up. Exhale, figure four, right ankle to the left thigh. Imagine my hands were on your hips, just guiding you back, guiding you to the, to the midline. When you feel good, take the hands to the ankles here, or take it to your flying, squirrel flying pigeon the higher you get on the arm the easier and then lift lean your head forward so there's that counterbalance and then kick the leg back using your glute use your glute use your hamstring strength if you're in figure four try to find that center line yeah avi lift your elbow the, uh, yeah there we go nice Steady your breath. And that's it. Inhale, lift the right knee up. Exhale to your crescent lunge. Arms up. Find your, find your balance, right heel is up. And then take the hands onto your left thigh. Lean a little deeper into your bend. A little bit more. Strengthen. Imagine that you're holding a weight there onto your left thigh and lowering down as you engage the glute back. So the knee comes down, but then yeah, squeeze your right glute more, Katie, so it's like active. 
Yeah, that's it. Parker, lift your chest back a little. All right. Move your left hand higher up to your hip and reach the right hand forward to the left. And really working the right glute here. S send the glute down towards the floor. One more breath. And then use the right elbow, twist straight into the twist. Right elbow to left thigh. If you need to lower the knee, please lower the knee. Focus on the twist. If you need, if you'd like a little bit more of that leg engagement, lift the knee higher. Very nice. Stay with it. Good. Elevate the hands. Crescent lunge. Reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. And roll the wrists if you need. Rely and trust your bend in the left knee. Very good. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up. Exhale, triangle pose. Lean the head back. Press the glutes forward and down. Ribs in, ribs stay in. Good. Inhale, lift it up, reverse triangle, and then take the hands down to the mat. Rotate your right toes to face the back, and then get into your inner thigh stretch, into your skandasana. Very good. We'll be doing some inner thigh work later, so just keep that in mind. If you are, if your right heel is down, try to bend the left knee a little so there's that engagement through the quad. So avoid hyperextending the left knee. Hopefully, Kelsey, this is a good stretch for you. All right, one more breath. And walk the hands towards your left foot. Low lunge and then standing splits, right leg up. You have the option here to, to handstand. So bring the hands down. Try to stack the shoulders right over the wrist. Bend the bottom knee. Use your glute and lift up. Yeah, straighten the arms. Take a couple hops here. Don't be afraid to get the hips over unless there's furniture nearby. And just play. Good. And slowly send the leg back. Take it through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, hop through and have a seat. Right away, boat pose, breathe in. Come forward more, Katie. Yeah, there we go. You got it, yep. Nice, good Barker. Yeah, broaden through the collarbone, broaden through the chest. Okay. In our boat, take the arms up, take the hands forward. Arms up, exhale forward. Stay with it, breathe in, and forward. Last one, and forward. Take the big toes and peace fingers together and find your straddle. Come forward. Come higher onto the seat. That will help you not to fall back if you come more forward while you pull on the legs. Yeah, begin to sit taller if you can. Even if that means bringing the legs more forward and together. Yeah, if you fall back, no worries. Use your core to counterbalance here. Good, and then let the hands go to the heart. Lower the legs wherever they land is where they land, okay? From here, wherever the legs landed, walk the hands forward and come to your depth. So as far forward as you can in, in this inner thigh stretch. 
if this hurts your, your back at all, please sit on a pillow or, or a block. All right, from here, try to bring your chest to its maximum depth. So not just the forehead, but more the chest. Crawl the hands back to center and then take the hands behind you as you take your big back bend here, point the toes. Back bend, hands to the back, lift the chest up like you're propping the chest up onto something. Nice, good. And neutral. So neutral spine, point the toes up. So we're gonna do some active stretching for the inner thighs here. When you come forward, when I tell you to come forward and fold forward, your thighs and your legs try to pull back. So it's op opposite. So when your chest comes forward, your legs come back. And then when you lift up, your legs pull forward. So let's try it all together. Hands to your heart, okay? Breathe in. Exhale, bow the chest forward. It doesn't matter if it's, not, if it's just like an inch or two. Pull the legs back. The leg, legs back. Yeah, even toes up and back. And then opposite, inhale, lift the chest, legs forward. We'll do that two more times. Bring the chest forward, send the thighs up and back. Got it? And lift up, legs push forward. Yep, that was it. All right, last one. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, push, push back. Good, that was great. So now, now your hands are at your heart, and then we'll, we're gonna take them in front of you like this. Okay, point the toes up, breathe in. Exhale, lean forward. Legs pull back, imagine my hands are on your thighs, anchoring you down, good. Inhale, lift up, relax, two more. Come forward, really reach, engage, engage, yep, and in. Last one, we're strengthening the inner thighs here. Inhale, come forward. And good, bring it back. Bend the knees, shake it out if you need, and then back bend. So bend the knees, lift your chest like you're just wide open here, and extend the legs back to your straddle. Nice, from there, hands now to the, to the ears. So we're creating a bit more resistance here. It's a lot heavier. Breathe in. Exhale forward. Remember, legs pull back. And then lift the chest, legs pull forward. Good. Two more. Come forward. Stay there. Stay in that max. Let it be more from the torso rather than the neck. Remember, yeah, there we go. Nice, nice Kelsey. That was a good and then bring it back up. One more, last one, bring it forward. Remember, not so much the neck, more, yeah, exactly, Katie, yep. Lightness through the fingers, and bring it back up. All right, we got one more here. This time, the arms will be overhead. So if this isn't feeling right to you, if, it's, if the arms overhead is, seems like a lot, you can always bring the hands back to the heart or to the ears, okay? Reach up. So this is just increasing the, the weight through the top body. Breathe in. Exhale, come forward. Remember, not the neck. Let it be the torso. And bring it up. Exhale, forward. And up. Good. All right, last one. And up. Good job. Good job, take the hands behind you, bend the knees, place the outside feet on the floor, and lift your chest. And from here, relax into your butterfly, bring the feet together and knees out. And then round yourself in, just let yourself fully relax here. Forehead comes down, forearms comes down, in your butterfly position. Good, very nice. Lift up, 
plant your feet on the floor, assist your seat off the mat, and then lift up to your chair pose. Notice how that feels with, with the glutes now that we've opened the inner thighs. I know it feels a little strange, but it's a very deep stretch. Good. Take the hands behind you and then lift the right knee up. Balance. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lift the right knee. Take a hold of the knee or your big toes or your foot and find a leg extension forward. From there, with the right leg or right knee forward, open out to the side. So allow, yeah, allow that to open up to the side. Good. From here, release the foot, keep the leg up, arms up. And then warrior three, guide the leg back. Take the hands down, standing splits. From here, you have an option. You can stay here in standing splits or find a pistol squat. So right leg comes forward, then the left knee. Hand, my hands are supporting the back. All right, once you're there, have a seat. Wrap your arms inside of your leg and fold. Fold, fold down. Your left knee is pointing up. Your left seat is lifted maybe. Good. Very nice. Okay, from there, so now your left knee is bent, your right leg is straight. Take the hands behind you, place your feet down, and pick it up to your chair. Good. Arms back. Inhale your left knee up. Exhale, warrior three. Then inhale the left knee up. Take a hold of the knee or your toes or your foot and extend the left leg straight forward. Use your, your core here. It's very easy to kind of lose balance. That's no worries. When you're ready, open the leg to the side. Try to adjust, do your own adjustments here. Maybe press the glutes down as you lift the leg higher. Maybe your, your knee is bent, that's all good. All right, from there, release the hand, but keep the leg up. Slide it to warrior three. That was good. And then bring it forward to your standing split, hands down. Now that your hands are on the floor, yeah, you can stay here or bring the leg through, bend the right knee for your pistol squat. Hands can support. Hands are back, good. Then have a seat. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. My right seat is not on the mat. My right seat is lifted for this one. So you're all on the left, you're all on the left hip. Your right seat is down, is up, yep. And slowly lift yourself up, hands behind you. All right, with your fingertips on the mat, just like in the beginning of class, lift your seat, place your left foot down, sit up to chair. All right, from here, dancer's pose. Take the right leg up, balance, and then kick up and back. You have the option to hold, with, hold your right foot with both hands if you want. All right, and softly release that, hands to heart, into the other side. Bend your left knee, take it up, and find your dancer's pose. 
just slowly guiding yourself into the balance. And gently release that, please. Bring your hands up to the sky, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, widen your feet. Exhale to gorilla pose, slide your hands underneath your, your toes and your feet and massage your wrists with your toes as your elbows come to the sides. Yogi's choice here. Release the hands, please. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands to your plank. And then Yogi's choice, either forearm plank, dolphin, or a headstand. So forearm plank, lower down. Build some strength in the shoulders and the core. Dolphin, pike the legs up. Option for headstand or pinchamayurasana forearm stand or anything else that feels right to you. So I will help and be a guide. There's also child's pose if you want it. Nice Parker, inner thighs. Yeah, core. Good job, Kelsey. Three more breaths. We'll all meet in a child's pose. Lower the seat. Relax the feet back. Relax your forehead down. Give it a good rest here. If you like the fingertips to the floor just like earlier, go ahead and take that. Good. All right, from here, rise up to the to down dog. We got one more, one more balance to go through or one more pose. Down dog, inhale the right leg up. Step the foot through to your runner's lunge. Runner's lunge, okay? Good. From here, keep the left knee lifted. Just let the hips start to sink down. All right, and then, all right, and then from here, you will roll onto the inside of the left foot. So you're in like a very wide extended side angle. Good, so we all, are we all together? Right foot is forward, left foot is perpendicular or parallel to the back of your mat. Place your right hand on the floor. Reach your left arm up. Good. From here, you could stay here into this very long extended side angle, or if you want, take your left hand, bend your right elbow, take a hold of your right foot, and then just try to stretch the hips back as you look back. I'll make sure everyone's in the same place. Yeah, good, that's it, Sarah. Is that Graceland? <laughs> Hi. Hi, cutie. All right. And then let that go. Release. So still in the runner's lunge. Lower the left knee down. Lower the left knee down. Same thing. Right hand down onto the fingertips. Take your left hand to your foot. And then gently stretch the leg, right leg forward if you can. So I'll make sure you guys are good. Yeah, transfer, yep, transfer, yeah, exactly. Transfer the weight into the left knee. Exactly, Parker. So this is kind of an intro into your compass pose. Yeah, good. I like the knee down just because it's like really tough. So there's another variation we might not, we're not gonna get into that today, but it's from your side plank. Katie, yep, that's it. Nice, good job. All right, and then plant the hands. I know that was very tricky, good job. Lift the right leg up, shake out the right leg, circle it out. 
and lower down. Other side, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step forward to your runner's lunge, which means your left foot is on the outside of the left pinky. From there, just let the hips start to melt down. Good. When you're ready, plant the right foot with the right toes facing the right wall. It's a lot of rights. So now your foot is like in warrior two position. Good. And from here, you could stay here or lift the right arm up. I'm showing you the back view here. So now you're in a very long extended side angle. You could stay here or begin to reach the right hand forward, take a hold of the foot, and then come onto the, the heel as you stretch the left leg here. Be careful of the knee. Make sure your knee feels good. Yeah. Does that feel okay, Katie? Yeah, that's exactly it. That's the pose. Good job, Kelsey. Good. Nice, Parker. Good choice. And release that. So bring it back to your runner's lunge. Good. And then from here, same thing. Your right knee is down. Left hand is either inside or outside of your foot, reach the left arm forward, take a hold of the foot and lift. Yeah, lift high as you transfer the weight into your right knee. The more you lean back here, lean back, the higher the leg can go. Yeah, if we have blocks, it'll honestly be easier. Nice, Katie. Yep, beautiful. Good job, guys. Nice, Avi, yeah. God. So if you guys have ever seen, okay, lower down. If you guys have ever seen, let's see if I can do it, hopefully. There's a few side plank variations. Wait, which way is it? I'm tangled. We'll do it Friday <laughs> or Monday. But basically that was a, an intro prep to compass pose. So the other way is you're going to be in side plank and that leg is forward. So Let's get into our seat, please. Let's try to bring it all together, have a seat. Kind of running out of time, but that was a very good class. We did a lot. Have a seat. And then from here, windshield wiper your knees side to side. Just make sure everything feels balanced and good. All right, from here, lower down. Inhale the hips up to bridge, squeeze the glutes, bring the hips back together. So we did a lot of deep, deep stretching. And lower the hips, hug the knees into your chest and find a happy baby. If you want to straddle stretch, notice the difference between now and, and before class. V out the legs. Good. Bring the knees back into the chest, please. Take the knees to the left as you gaze to the right. And bring the knees in. Take the legs to the right as you gaze to the left. On an inhale, hug everything into your chest. Give yourself a big, big hug. And exhale, relax into your shavasana. Let the legs go, let the arms go. Take a deep inhale here. Cleansing exhale out the mouth. And deep breath in. Sigh it out. Nice work. Just honoring yourself for making it to class today. You know, we're, you all have busy schedules and so carving out this, this hour to invest in moving your body, kind of turning off the brain a little bit and getting into your practice feels really good. And we now have a couple minutes just to rest. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Good. 
Let the breath be easy and soft and slow. And then just rest. Good. Inhale in here. Exhale out. Breath in. And breath out. Start to move fingertips and toes. Roll the wrists, roll the ankles. Inhale the arms up and back. Find a big, big stretch here. Hug the knees into your chest. Roll off to your favorite side here. Give it a break. And then when you're ready, guide yourself to a seat. Sit tall. Roll the shoulders. Roll the neck. Okay. And then neutralize the spine, reach the arms up, breathe in. And we bow forward, sealing in our practice. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you all. I hope you are feeling very stretched out. Um, thank you if you have to go, and that was lovely, really nice to practice with you all. I hope you're feeling good and hope to see you um, next time. And if you are curious how to get into that full, that full compass pose, it's basically, we did this from the knee right here. It'll basically be from the foot and like that. It's very challenging. I think the knee works good for now. So um, thank you guys. Bye, everyone.